Good morning, oh man. Wait a minute, you must be asking. Did he just wake up in a car? <sighs> You're right, I slept in the car last night. And here's the story. So here's the story. Um, remember yesterday I pushed, I decided to just uh, abandon Yipo and I pushed on just to uh, cross the border at Sadao into Thailand and um, I arrived in Thailand say about uh, 9 plus p.m. had dinner. Um, it was it was uh, better than I expected, you know. Um, got my SIM card, met this wonderful sales staff. Um, I think she wanted to uh, hopefully, you know, get me to be her friend, you know what I mean? But um, I'm not like that. <laughs> so I was looking at this uh, area across the uh, border. There weren't many nice, there weren't, many, there weren't any hostels at all. Everything was just little motels, hotels, and um, um, after that one time meal, I decided uh, whatever inspired me, I decided to just drive an hour to Hat Yai to look for hostels because there are hostels in Hat Yai. Uh, the drive to Hat Yai was wow. Um, the road conditions in Thailand are very different. Uh, from compared to Malaysia and of course miles apart compared to Singapore um, I mean it's if you talk about uh, cowboy town driving uh, the roads and along the journey to Hat Yai was uh, interesting yeah I'll, t I'll probably talk about this another time so I arrived in Hat Yai I went uh, hostel searching, uh, I stopped at Siam Mansion, um, there was no room and the lady tried to charge me an exorbitant rate on a, on a spot, uh, what they call it, the walk-in rate, I refused, um, take up the offer, I went to another city, something hostel, um, there was obviously a bunk bed available, in fact a few. But the place was already closed. Uh, no, I arrived. I took a long time finding that place. I swooped around the area in my car like twice. I couldn't locate it. Even I, I, in the end, I had to stop at a bar, a nice, decent looking one, just to ask um, a local uh, female. She's uh, butch looking, very nice, very helpful. Um, um, she tried to speak to me with a minimal English help me locate the place uh, but it was yeah it was like a French talking to a Chinese the kind of scenario you get it right so I thank her profusely she tried to help um, so I I tried again went one more round and I finally located the hostel the city place and uh, it was close I rang the bell no one came forward to open it uh, I guess <sighs> so at that point I almost wanted to give up yeah, um, I tried another hostel. Uh, again, there were two locations. I couldn't find it. And then when I did, it was um, sold out. Um, at least online said that. <laughs> and I went to in the fourth hostel. Uh, this time around, it was, it was already gated. Um, in fact, I'm just sleeping just around the corner where it's located. They told me that their rooms are out too. So after trying for the fourth time, I decided, yeah, I should just sleep in a car and just try it out, just rough it out. Okay, let me just show you how this looks like. So I had these um, blinds on the all the um, windows surrounding the car. That's pretty effective. It managed to cut out a lot of light. Okay, that's my. 
You get a big, you get a picture. So I was saying that it's about 6.15 in the morning and I um, decided to get out of the car to do some filming along the street and, uh, and see how Thailand wakes up again. Here I am. So my sleep last night in the car, how was it? It was pretty uncomfortable, but it wasn't as uncomfortable as I thought it would be. There were no mosquitoes, there were no flies. Um, I had like uh, wound down my window slightly at the uh, driver's seat side, um, which really surprised me because I mean, Bangkok really cleaned up the streets, you know. Um, so yeah, um, the only problem I had was that it was stuffy in the cabin because I did not get the fan, the USB operated fan that I battery my USB that I. I wanted to initially, so I'll be on the lookout for that um, and, uh, in Thailand. Um, the other thing is the noise, because um, I'm actually I realized that I'm actually located at uh, Main Street, so every now and then you will hear a car, a truck drive past the car, uh, and it wake me up. So I didn't really get a very good night's sleep, but I did get some sleep towards the end. And I'm feeling okay. <sighs> yeah, I just need that fan. Uh, I won't advise this, but uh, I, I'm only doing this because I, I couldn't find any accommodation and I'm, I'm good. It was an experience now, at least I know how my friend, Hai Martin, feels like uh, in New Zealand, all around New Zealand. Hey, Hai Martin. Um, except that he has a proper bed in his truck. Alright, there it goes. This is how I ended up sleeping in a car. On my third day. My second, third day of the trip. Second day in Thailand. See ya. What is this? Wow. It's a little so what the uh, elderly gentleman just said earlier was that he wakes up every day at 5 to cycle all around Hat Yai um, for an hour. Wow, it's amazing, right?